live from the Duncan Latte Lounge. What up, everyone? It is Gareth from Elvis Duran and the Morning Show. Welcome to, as they say on my cup, which they give me, the Duncan Latte Lounge, hanging out, Elliot James. <laughs> and uh, what up, man? How are you? Hey, how are you, Gareth? All right, I'm, I'm pretty good. And you know what? I'm, I'm just going to do a complete uh, Wizard of Oz transparency here. So as we get on Zoom, you know, we're, we're in a Zoom room. It's just you and I right now. But everybody watching this, they can't see everything. They, they, they can't see behind the scenes. So we'll <laughs> let them in a little bit. So um, <laughs> I don't I, I know of you. I, I've, I've heard your music. I've seen you. But the way, you know, these interviews work, a bunch of people jump into a room, some people that work for us, some people that work with you. So you really don't know who's who. It's like a, a blind first date at first. So uh so oh, you, know, you know some someone who works with you by the name of michael comes on and i'm like this this looks nothing like elliot Did, is this <laughs> or is, is it are they in the same room and i start panicking and then sure enough in like a typical like you know pandemic zoom fashion i just click over one more box and there you are so thank you for joining us <laughs> thanks for having me <laughs> All right. No, no problem. All right. So let's let's talk music. I mean, it is so interesting to see that, like, you have different phases of your career, right? Like you've you've Definitely. literally been around the world it, several times as, as a band. Now you're doing your own thing. Like so it's like you have a different taste of of the music world where it's like now you're you're in a different phase where some don't even get to travel the world outside of their own state. So you know, is it is it one of those things where you're grateful and realize what you've been able to accomplish already with still more room to grow? Definitely, 100%. Yeah, I mean, um, I lived abroad for many years with my parents and family before moving to the States. So I'm, I've never not been in tune right. with the yeah, constant exactly. rhythm of, uh, of traveling and sort of um, being ingested into uh, tons of different cultures and spaces, but um, I think it's where I'm most comfortable as well. So um, this is music's just always been what I knew I was going to be doing. And that's the thing about music too. It's not like very, you know, it's like, nope, I grew up here. I have to do music here. That's the beautiful thing. It's like the job literally can be done anywhere yeah. in the world, you know, and, and that's why you see anywhere. artists going like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm recording in Bali. I'm going, I'm going to Hawaii or I'm going yeah. to some storage unit in yeah. Brooklyn, you know? Uh, yeah, so, literally, we track in showers, hotels, motels, buses, everything. As long <laughs> as we can record, you have to. You know, it's funny, yeah. and and as <laughs> as as an artist too, like you start thinking about this stuff. So uh, the power went out in my house, and as I'm doing the radio show one day, so what I have to do is I get a hot spot. <laughs> oh, I, I get a hot spot off my phone. I go into my my Ford. Like this is not a promotion. I'm just saying. They said <laughs> me broadcasting out of my Ford uh, 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 Escape was the best sounding because the the acoustics were so tight because the doors are so closed in that. So it might be a good place to record in the near future for you. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, all right. So let's talk. You said you grew up. Obviously, I'm gonna have to look into that. Please do, please do, and then give me a quote. Uh, give me a you know a little shout out at least on the byline, or you know I'll, I'll take a Grammy, whatever. Um, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. All right. Let's. So you said you grew up in. Uh, you were born in England, right? And you came to. When did you come over to the mm -hmm. states uh, to start? Young uh, teenager. Uh, te teenager. Yeah. Okay. I'm all right. So the the obvious question, you know, a lot of people would ask, like, "Hey, what's the difference between you know uh, <laughs> back home and here in the states?" But what are the what are similarities? Like, what what is like, you know, what this is pretty much, you know, where I grew up. Like, it feels like it because that's what a lot of people don't yeah. realize. They want to know what's different. Like, why are we better than them? But what are the similarities yeah. you have seen living on both sides of the pond? Um, I think uh, the music scenes in particular, right. particular, sort of like the spaces that I was drawn to, um, again, just like very early on, wanted to submerge myself in those spaces. And we were so young at the time, everyone sort of looked at us a bit like we were crazy. But after like a couple of shows, they sort of let us hang. Um, but I, I sort of realized like very early on, that was like out here where the most community was. And I felt obviously the same way back home. Now, for, now, as as doing so many things as an artist, as a band, I mean, being knowing Cassidy Pope and seeing the success she's had over the over the years, 
for you, like what has been that bucket list moment? What's that one moment for you as an artist that you're going to be sitting on the front porch with your grandkids as you're in the rocking chair going, hey, guys, let me tell you a story. Like, what's that one story for you that, you know, always sticks out will always be your number one? Um, yeah, definitely a, a surreal moment uh, that was bucket list that I'll never forget was um, collaborating with Gavin Finn uh, and Matt Schaefer, who mixed How's It? with me um it's just one of my favorite songs i've made in my life uh it's one of the most important ones on my new record and um i've just grown up uh loving and being so moved by uh everything that uh matt schaefer's done with kendrick lamar and uh schoolboy q SZA, black panther um so I'll definitely uh, be holding on to that for a long time. And then you play the music for all your grandkids, and and then they're like, "Oh, that's oh my god!" Yeah. <laughs> we'll put the vinyl on. I'm like, "Have you ever seen one of these? <laughs> like a dinosaur?" That's, that's Grandpa's song. <laughs> all right. So once one as this world yeah. slowly opens up for you, and having mm -hmm. having new music, what's the game plan? Where, where what is your ultimate game plan? Do you have one yet? Is it kind of like a a trial and error wait and see as you move forward as as we all move forward in in life sure yeah i mean our whole camp sort of planning that right now um this year like um everyone else i had already sort of planned a route to be out and stuff <laughs> um so we're gonna announce those countries and those places you know once that's the thing but um we still plan to go over there i'm definitely going to be touring this new album um I'm amazed to see the songs doing so well in France right now. So as soon as we can go over there, um, we'll definitely be over there. Um, hopefully Japan in the next year and some America and UK dates as well. Yeah. It must feel like, like a WWE wrestler backstage as you, as you, as you see, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I have my four-year-old here too. Uh, as, as, oh as, no, it's perfect. Very as, you, <laughs> as you see the, as you see the world grabbing onto your music and loving it and like you're backstage just like ready to run out and and just like i'm here guys it, 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 yeah. though there's social media it still has to be a level of frustration going oh, i want to get out there I, just let me out put me in a bubble suit or something and let me go let me see the world 100 <laughs> percent. now talk, talk about the experience uh, I, was, I was reading 100 percent. yeah and no, i get super stir crazy oh sorry it's lagging go ahead no no, no i was you gotta love internet uh we'll, we'll Welcome to 2021. <laughs> you know, Elon Musk yeah. charged cars. Uh, like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, we can't connect on the internet. Um, <laughs> talk, talk about recording at Abbey Road. You, you, you know what I mean? That must be like just the level of, again, another goosebump moment where, you know, put it on the list of things that you're going to tell the grandkids as you're sitting on the front porch and they're like, what's a, what, what, yeah. what's a cool moment for you, grandpa? You know? Yeah. No, I, I mean, I definitely, anytime I'm sort of lucky enough to be in a space like that or um, Capital Sunset Sound um, and any of these uh, studios that I've sort of grown up reading in liner notes or walking inside and past uh, uh, outside, it's it's crazy to finally like be in there. And again, you you hear the music and the recordings and stuff and they feel like forever. Did, at any point did someone have to like tap you on the shoulder and go hey hey we're working like you're it, like you zone out because you're like yeah moment, you know they're constantly like, <laughs> like constantly hey, hey uh, i need you <laughs> to drop a line like come on get with it come on let's do it uh <laughs> so yeah. so as 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 the music gets back out there and you're watching the like the world you know gr and that's the thing we all need music i mean without me how i was thinking about this the other day like without music just in general there is really no soundtrack and there's no there's no things to yeah. lag on to there's no things to tell stories to we would just have movies and with it just be weird without music like did you ever sit down and think about it really look into yourself and go if there's if there's no music like <laughs> this would be a pretty weird world for you know thinking about it definitely i mean music's the universal language and it does tie all of us together even if we don't speak the same language or from the same places and i, I think that's sort of the thing i've taken from traveling around so much and playing for so many different kinds of people is like this really unites us in a primal way yeah now uh 
so Elliot, as you know, we're in the Dunkin' Latte Lounge. Uh, it's you know, are you a latte guy? Are you hot, cold? Like it's the seasonal for me. I'm a latte guy. Yeah. Are, yeah. are you a hot? Are you cold? I mean, I'm not gonna judge you. Basically, I, I go both. Actually, I go both. Yeah. I'm more of a seasonal. Like it has to be like I'm. I'm. I'm not yeah. going hot during the summer. It's just you're. You're asking for to sweat. Like I. I sweat like right now <laughs> with this little Zoom camera, like Zoom light on me. Uh, you know that I got off of like an Instagram ad uh i'm like i'm yeah. sweating i'm sweating right now it doesn't help i'm wearing a jacket yeah. but, you know so i, I go cold but, yeah. <laughs> yeah so so we so we asked this question and you know you being around the world of uh, being so involved in music for so long it's one of those things that i'm sure you've thought about before uh living dead it doesn't matter. Like you have a chance to, you know, do something as sip a Dunkin' Latte and just pick a brain of anyone out there just to, and find out questions that you've always been pondering. Who would that person be? Do you think? Oh man. We lost a lot of good ones this past year. They um, could be alive too. Remember? So it, it just could be anybody in the world. Oh, alive too. Yeah. Anybody. Um, yeah, probably, um, pro probably uh, Tupac or Michael Jackson um, or Jimmy Iovine. <laughs> um, there's there's not there's a lot of interesting cats not sneakers, yeah, speakers, not sneakers, speakers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean DMX honestly as well too would definitely be one of them. Um, and any he, yes sort of just any anyone that's uh, so you do a carpool you do a carpool like, yeah uh, I, absolutely you know, every, everybody pile in i'll go through drive through <laughs> yeah. let me get your orders yeah and i can only imagine the person's face like when you pull around and there's there's, uh, <laughs> there's michael jackson tupac uh jimmy yeah. Iveen, uh you know wearing his baseball cap uh yeah <laughs> All right, so so Elliot, uh, let's hit up all the socials yeah. before uh, I uh, I yeah. shut off my Zoom and you get into a performance. Sure. Let's hit up all the socials where people can follow along if they haven't already, and uh, and and just you know spill one ready, go for it. Yeah, you can find me um, Elliot James Mulhern on Instagram, Spotify, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, Twitter, Tidal, SoundCloud, all of them. All of them, I, I prefer especially Z100. Yeah, to, to yeah. each their own. To each their own how you sure. stream your music, as long as you're streaming music, that's yes. what's important. All right, so I'm Definitely. going to I'm going to shut off my Zoom camera. I'm going to let you do your thing. You're in the studio. I'm excited to sit back, listen, and watch some music. And thank you all for watching too uh, to the Dunkin' Latte Lounge. You can see more of these interviews. DunkinLatteLounge.com hashtag duncan latte lounge they have so many things for me to say so it's like a, a word jumble try, trying to get them yeah. all done before we, we get out of there you know that uh so elliot thank you so much for everything i'm excited to watch watch what happens once you're you're able to get to france and and get around the world and and get to touring and uh just please please keep on putting out music never stop unless you're like in the middle of dinner or whatever but still i appreciate it uh, thanks so much, Garrett. Thanks, everyone at Duncan and Z100. Appreciate you. This is the
This is a tour, rumbling hotline, my once in a lifetime. I lost the spark, pistons on side, entirely dismantled. So you find an air heart. But it could be impossible, impossible. I lost my head when everything you said was accurate. I won't forget. When everything you said was accurate